What you see here on the chart is a simple moving average. It's the little red line here. And you also see the text the current signal is buy or sell. That is calculated by an automated expert advisor. And whenever the red line is above the current price, that would be a sell signal. And when the red line is below the current price, that is a buy signal, like here. Now, how can we create an expert advisor that is able to output the calculated buy or sell signal directly on your chart? To do that, please click the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. And now you should see the Meta Editor window and here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this file simple SMA, continue, continue, and finish. And now you can delete everything above the on tick function and the two command lines here. The first thing we need to do is to create a string variable for the signal that will also be called signal. And we don't assign a value here because we are going to calculate that one later. We also want to use a simple moving average for 20 minutes. This is a one minute chart and you could click on insert, indicators, trend, moving average. And here you will see the so-called parameters. This moving average is based on 20 candles. The shift value is set to zero. The moving average method is set to simple for simple moving average. And the calculated prices are based on the close price. And this is how it looks in MQL4. Double my moving average equals. And here we are going to use the IMA function that is built into MQL4. And it needs a few parameters. The first parameter is the symbol you have selected on your chart. In our case, it's the Canadian dollar against the Swiss franc. This is the selected period on our chart. Because we're using a one minute chart, we use period underscore M1. Here we have 20 candles for 20 minutes. We use a shift value of zero. And because we want to use a simple moving average, we select mode underscore SMA. That's for the MA method simple here. And we use price underscore close. That's for the apply to close price. We don't want to move our indicator to the left or to the right. So the last parameter for the shift is also zero. And now we need to find out if the SMA is below the bid price. If you click on one of these currency pairs, you will see two price levels. The red one is the ask price. This is what you need to pay if you buy something. And the blue one is the bid price. This is what you get when you sell it. So if the moving average is below the bid price, we want to set the signal to buy. And in MQL4, this is signal equals buy. And in the other case, if the simple moving average is above the ask price, so if the moving average is greater than the ask price, that would be a signal to sell. So now signal equals sell. And after the calculation, we want to see the output of the signal on our chart. That is done by using the command function. And we want to output the text the current signal is, followed by the signal that we have calculated here. OK, that's about it. When you are ready, you can click on the compile button here or press the F7 key on your keyboard. And that should work without any errors or warnings here. And when you are ready, you can click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And here in MetaTrader 4, we use a little trick. Please click on Insert, Indicators, Trend, Moving Average. 
set it to period 20, shift 0, MA method simple and apply to close and click on OK. Now the red line is drawn on your chart and you want to right click on the chart, select template, save template and save it as tester.tpl because that is the template that the MetaTrader 4 is going to use for your backtest. To bring up the strategy tester, please click on view, strategy tester or press Control and R. And in the strategy tester panel here, you want to select the file simplesma.ex4. I need to lower the spread here. Please make sure to enable the visual mode and start your test. And this is our expert advisor at work. It says buy or sell based on the position of the indicator below or above the price. And we have an output on our chart. And you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL4 code.